are you doing down here? Don't you know horses' hoofs are hard to come out of your hair? I was looking for you. I was following the herd. I wonder what caused that stampede. Rustlers. They were trying to steal Mumford's horses. Sure was lucky for me you were so close on their trail. Oh, forget it. Good work, Gordon. Hello, Radigan. Did you get control of that herd? Yes, after putting up a pretty stiff fight. I thought you were a goner, Miss Dre. So did I. What become of the rustlers? Why, they made a clean getaway. Did you get any Mulford stock? I don't think so. But it wouldn't be a bad time to trail them. For well, once you're right. In the meantime, I'll be looking for your horse, Miss Dre. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll go see how the men are getting along with the horses. There he is. Mr. Gordon, when you asked me yesterday why I was in Ghost City, I told you it that... It was a deep secret. Now, don't let that worry you, Mary. But I want you to know. Well? Will you come over and have a talk with my grandfather? Glad to. Hey, Silver! Gordon. Granddad, this is Mr. Gordon. Mr. Graham, mighty glad to know you. Sit down. Thank you. My granddaughter seems to think you're a man to be trusted. Well, I'm mighty grateful for her good opinion. I, uh, I own a mine in what is now called Ghost City. My partner was killed there. And I was crippled in an explosion. On the very day the whole town moved over to the new strike in Scottsdale. No one knows anything about the claim but Mary and I. It's one of the richest veins of gold in the state. And I want Mary to have it. Well, if you filed your claim, no one can take it away from you. You don't know this country, young man. Oh, if I wasn't a cripple, I could protect my claim. But as it is, I, I've got to have someone I can trust. I'll do all I can to help you, Mr. Gray. I'm taking you at face value and trusting you on Mary's recommendation. I'm telling you, Mr. Milford, those rustlers put up a stiff fight. They were driving the horses through Devil's Pass toward the Badlands. Well, you're all wrong about Gordon. He had no part of it. He was there, of course. That's why I hired him, to capture the rustlers. Yeah, but you didn't know who he was when you hired him. He might be the head of the gang, for all you know. I know a man when I see one. All right, Mr. Mulford. Remember, I warned you. Some other way to get rid of Gordon. He's got the old man Buffalo. Why can't I conduct Gordon over the border and leave him with Tony? A good idea, Pete. How do you think you can do it? Listen. I have an idea that rustlers are using Ghost City as a hideout. That's what Mary says. And that's one of the reasons I don't want her to be going up there alone. I don't blame you a bit, Mr. Gray. It's no place for a girl alone. 
And if you don't mind, I... I'll go up with her, and then she can show me the secret entrance to your mind. Fine. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. I felt sure we could count on you. Now, you better be starting before it's too late. and that girl. This is Grandfather's old store. See, there's the sign. Armory and Gray, General Store. You mean to say the only entrance to this mine is in the store? Yes, I'll show you. Hi, we were teaching them to stay away from Not here. so fast. I've got an idea. I have a key here. A key to a gold mine? Never heard of such a thing. <laughs> you and me will hide in the tunnel. Mort, you go down to the edge of town. Let Gordon see you, but pretend you don't see him. Make your way cordial, like. Back here. That's the idea. You see Grandfather and his partner being here during the gold rush. And opened up this door. Later, while digging a cellar, they struck the richest vein of gold in the camp. That's why the entrance is through the door. Oh, I see. Another one of those rustlers. You wait here and I'll see what he's doing. Well, I hate to leave you alone. You got your gun. You'll be all right. Stay here, son. Keep your eyes open. I am up. I'm not taking any chances on this bird. Go down and get that girl. You can't tell what she'll do. Where you are. 
Turn around. Now move. Put your hands behind you. All right, untie me. Had a boy. Pull him up, son. Pull him up. All right. All right. Come on, take a hold of it. All right, son. All right. Better stick to rustling cattle, partner. I've got another one tied up in front of the store. Good. Come on, get up out of there. Up the street. Keep your back to me. You're watching. There's another one in the tunnel. We'll take him to Mulford and make him talk. It seems a shame to leave without... Water. I know. I'm thirsty, too. That's the ground, you umbers. That's far enough. Up to the wall and keep your faces to it. Mary, mount up. Keep them covered. I know, but they got feet. I'll handle this. Yeah, I guess that'll do it. Throw the whole Tucson ledge out. <laughs> Good work, Gordon. Got a tip there were rustlers up here and came up to investigate. But I see you beat me to it. Credit belongs to Miss Gray. Oh, yeah? You sure you got all of them? Oh, we saw. There may be some more of them. Hiding in the old tunnels around here. Oh, you're right, Mary. Guess I better investigate, huh? Oh, right again. Can you take these rustlers on into Mulford and hold them like it there? Why, sure. Glad to help you. Come on, get going. Adam. 
Bridge, Gordon. You better keep your eyes peeled. All right, Ed. Gee, I was afraid you were going to tip that mine off to those rubbers. <laughs> He's been working his mind. Well, how do you know? Well, powder. Come on. 